Hi. Got another triangular box. This one is quite smooshed, but I think everything's okay. Um, this is going to be an unboxing and a review. I don't usually like to do a review right when I get a flute. I usually like to um, have a little time with it, get to know it a little bit. But I wanted to do this all in one video this time. This is um, a special signature flute uh, from Johnny Lipford. This, it is made by John Norris. And this was just introduced at the Sweetgrass Flute Festival. Um, a week ago. And the initial run has been sold out. It's a limited edition signature flute. And I do not know what the quantity will be of that limited run, limited edition. I do know that the first batch has been sold out. And Comes with a very, very gorgeous bag. I will be uh, including some shots separately as we go through this video. The flute itself is in the key of F minor. It is made from Spanish cedar with roasted poplar. Poplar is normally a very, very light colored wood. Roasting woods um, harden it. It takes the moisture out and it also, it's like baking something. It makes it very, very dark. And then this also has a ring of what looks like flamed maple. I know it's maple. And then a very, very interesting block. I'll do a close-up of the block. It is a laminate of different woods combined. And this comes from Johnny's CD of uh, Moon Songs, I believe is the name of it. It has a little Zuni bear engraved here. And then a very interesting pattern engraved down towards the foot of the flute. Now, we're going to do, first of all, I'm going to take the little tag off. We're going to do a little comparison. I talked to John Norris, the maker of this limited edition signature flute. And he had mentioned to me that he had been working on the voicing of a flute, I think specifically for this, but he said he's been working on the voicing of flutes uh, to get different characteristics. So I, this is in the key of F, I have another John Norris flute here, also in the key of F. They're different materials. This is Eastern Red Aromatic Cedar, and this is Spanish Cedar. They should be close in, in actual um, sound characteristic qualities. So we'll see there's a definite difference in like the true sound hole and the way it's, it's developed into the flute. We'll do a little comparison here in a minute. And both flutes feature solid bore 
construction, meaning that it is one solid piece of wood and board. John uh, Norris uses gun drill method to bore the flutes. Um, and I am not certain if he puts in a block or if he bores from both ends and then puts the end, the mouthpiece cap on. Um, either way is, is completely valid, but there are no seams on the sides of his flutes. So here is the new Johnny Lipford signature flute. size on the signature flute is significantly larger. I think it's a one inch. Let me measure. Yeah, one inch bore. On the old one, also in the key of F, it has about a seven eighths inch bore. Not significant, but definite difference there. And again, here's the signature flute, one more time, real quick. And the other John Norris in F. to the signature flute. in the comments which one you liked better sound wise if you can tell a difference the signature flute with a little bit larger bore diameter uh, made from Spanish cedar or the other John Norris flute with a 7 8 inch bore versus a 1 inch bore made from Eastern aromatic cedar with a little different uh, sound mechanism. This has a slightly deeper chimney and a little bit wider true sound hole than the signature flute. The signature flute um, a much shallower chimney and um, the sound hole, true sound hole, is not quite as wide. Uh, they look to be real similar. Well, no, this, this one is a little, very slightly longer front to back 
than the old one. So the, the actual true sound hole, the sound making mechanism along with the flu and everything, a little bit of difference. Um, there's a difference in bore size. Difference in, in wood material shouldn't be that much of a difference at all in what they sound like and it should not affect the sound. So let me know in the comments do you have a preference? Could you tell much of a difference? I'm going to be very interested in looking back at this to see. But the, um, the signature flute, it's a beautiful design. I really like the way that they've done a collaboration on the fetish block. It's beautiful. Everything about it is, is really gorgeous. I like the voice. Beautiful sound, beautiful flute. Very beautiful bag with a shoulder strap. Very happy that I was able to get this added into my toolbox. This is something I think I'm going to be utilizing quite a bit. Wonderful flute. I love it. Thank you, Johnny and John Norris, for creating this very special signature flute. Um, visit Johnny's website. I'm going to give a link to that down in the uh, description area uh, below this video. And um, he has a very beautiful story that goes with this flute. So this is called Heart of Healing Bear, Johnny Lipford Signature Flute. The reason why I'm wearing this shirt to do this video is that back in 2014, I was able to go to Flute Quest, Flute Festival. That was in uh, Saltwater State Park in Washington State. And uh, that was the first time I was ever had ever been to a flute festival. I went as just an attender, a participant, and uh, I met Johnny there. I met a lot of people there that uh, I look up to in, in respecting their talents and everything. In fact, I took a class from both Johnny Lipford and Rana Yellow Robe at that uh, flute festival. Um, and I wanted to kind of celebrate by wearing this shirt in remembrance um, and in uh, being able to get one of his very, very special Johnny Lipford Heart of Healing Bear signature flutes. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.